What up, YouTube? Okay, so I got a request for some help. Um, so I spent some time um, speaking to a college student, and um, she uh, wants to do some sort of program. I guess it's you know some sort of program for one of her courses or something that she needs to graduate, where she actually like puts on. Um, or creates some sort of media, and, and and they actually have to, you know, find people uh, to be actors or to do whatever. You know, it's one of those film and audio sorts of classes, and they have to put together some piece of programming. Okay, um, you know, she didn't want to do anything, you know, just regular. She wanted to do something that she really had. Uh, some stocking, you know, something that she really valued. So she wanted to do, um, you know, some sort of uh, uh, media <clears throat> presentation um, on black relationships, okay? But she didn't want it to be one-sided, you know, she didn't want people to not take her seriously or, you know, the men write her off, oh, is this another woman? Um, you know, so she asked me, you know, if I was doing the project or whatever it is, how would I organize it? <clears throat> um, simple. I would have three parts. The first part would talk about how our numbers are small. Okay? Um, you know, just in terms of the American population, but especially if you break it down into, you know, professional, white-collar America, however you want to define it. Okay? it's even smaller you know um, so just imagine you know there's one white fish and ten goldfish but you put them in a, a big ass aquarium right it doesn't even matter that there's ten times as many goldfish they're in a big ass aquarium they're not gonna see each other shit the goldfishes aren't gonna run into each other you know even if you had you know ten white fish and ten goldfish so the numbers were equal you put them in a big ass aquarium they're not gonna run into each other it's as simple as that. So you can talk about how our numbers are just small altogether. No one wants to throw that in. You know, people don't understand the word relative. Okay? You know, there's a lot of uh, 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 professional black women relative to uh, professional black men. But when you relate that to the general, you know, working, college-educated population, once again, it depends on how you want to phrase it or word it. Is it that significant? Probably not. You know, I don't know where you live, okay, but in terms of Southern California, uh, not so much, okay? Um, secondly, you can talk about how we don't have the family-based social networks or the extended family-based social networks that other groups have, you know, i.e. Indians and Asians and, you know, Middle Easterns. Okay, a lot of their networks are family-based. You know, I want you to meet a friend of my cousin, or, you know, my cousin has a classmate. So it's all, everybody knows everybody. Okay, you know, it's, it's very family-based. So the whole idea of being comfortable is there. You know, the only thing that they're really worrying about is chemistry. So if, you know, uh, uh, Manpreet uh, 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 wants to hook his cousin up with, uh, you know, Sundat, it's not on some, you know, I hope we click. The only thing that's really going to, the only thing that's really going to be an issue, let me rephrase that, is chemistry. In terms of what he does for a living, what she does, her religion, her background, it's already there. The only real issue is, do they have chemistry? You know, do they just have that, you know, spark, right? So, honestly, that's the only thing that they're worrying about. But for black people, we don't have that, okay? We don't have... <clears throat> any sort of setup that helps us you know deal with the fact that we have small numbers so you can also talk about that <clears throat> okay talk about how it's hard <clears throat> to you know let alone have something that's just for black people but then say it's for you know black people with this background you know especially when people are so easily so easily get offended Okay, you know, the second, you know, somebody says it's a black person, this is what I do, and it, it's different from, you know, what somebody else does, it's automatic, oh, you think you're better than me, this is just what I do, right, so you can talk about that, because it's a problem on both sides of the coin, you know, no one should really feel isolated or hurt, 
Um, and thirdly, most importantly, um, you can talk about how we have our own problems internally. So before we talk about, you know, what the, the opposite sex isn't doing or, you know, the fact that, you know, we have no numbers or that we don't have the whole family-based social networks, you can talk about how we have our own internal battle. <clears throat> For the men, <clears throat> it's who do you want to be? <clears throat> Excuse me, do you want to be, you know, the, the single well-to-do bachelor who, you know, is kind of like that, you know, that lover boy, you know, you really can't, you know, catch my heart, I'm just going to be this free spirit, or do you want to be the Bill Cosby, right? You know, it's like Bad Boys with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Remember Will Smith, Mike Larry, you know, he was the, the smooth bachelor with the condo, and Martin Lawrence was the family guy when he had like three kids. Which one do you want to be? You know, do you want to be, you know, Will Smith or Martin Lawrence? Because that will dictate how you approach, um, you know, black women or what you look for, where you go. That will, it will influence everything you do. If you really think about it, what you say, what you don't say, you know, it, it's so impactful. And same thing with the women, you know, who do you want to be? You know, do you want to be Miss Single Independent, you know, Miss Black Sex in the City? Or do you want to be Claire Huxtable? Right? Because if you don't know, then you're not going to know how to go out into the world and, you know, figure out who you need to talk to, who you don't need to talk to. What do you say? How fast do you move? So that's something that we struggle with on our own. Okay, so to be real with you, you can, you know, create an impactful sort of presentation if you touch on those things and no one should feel slight, you know, no, no one should feel upset, no one should, you know, feel belittled, okay. Um, and also, don't get me wrong, you can throw in the whole disparity thing. I'm not trying to say that the fact that there is a... Um, uh, more of you and less of us isn't a problem. You know, it's definitely a problem, um, so you can bring that up. But even talk about the whole idea of status and prestige. Talk about the whole idea of how, yes, that black man may not have the same degree, he may not be in corporate America, he may not have the three-piece suit, but, yeah, and he's blue-collar, but in terms of what he makes and what he's able to do, look at it. You know, you can do the research, you can bring up the numbers, so you can do all that to, to, to touch on all the points, but not necessarily isolate anybody or put anybody down or belittle people. And I think people will walk away with something and not necessarily feel like they've just been insulted, right? Because it happens, you know. I, I, I've seen, you know, uh, some black women try, but, you know, once I see what they're trying to do, you know, it's almost you automatically get, get insulted. The, the way they word stuff or the way they phrase stuff or the way they present it, it's insulting, and that whole, <clears throat> it's not me, <clears throat> it's you, it always comes up. But if you want to avoid that, once again, <clears throat> and have an effective sort of media that everybody can walk away with and no one feels like, yeah, I just got put down, I just got dissed, then, you know, then you, you'll follow my advice or, you know, take what I say, tweak it into how you want to fit it. But, you know, to me, you know, you, I don't really see you having a problem if you organize your piece of media that way. So, you know, hopefully that helps you. Um, and, you know, hopefully you're able to get that done. Um, take it easy. Let me know what you think. Everybody else, you guys know the drill. Take care. God bless. And I know there's actual, you know, people out there that are trying to be productive, trying to be proactive. Um, so I guess y'all could take this too. You know, if you want to create some sort of media or some sort of presentation that really talks about, uh, you know, the whole black female, black male relationship issue, you should organize it just like how I said to. Because you're not leaving anything out, you're being truthful, and you're not trying to promote the other side at the expense of the other side. Right? So y'all take it easy. God bless. Oh, and also, I forgot to add. Um, also talk about how some people are just foul. You know, people talk about black men being players once they make it. Guess what? Those men would have been players even if they were broke. So you can account for that. You know, yes, there's successful black men out there who are just pricks and assholes, but I can guarantee you, you took away their money, they'd still be the same type of person. Just like the women who are, you know, just like cocky and egotistical, you know, even if they didn't have that money, um, it, it, or that sort of money or career, and they were just on the block, they'd find something else to be cocky and egotistical. Or, oh, you know, I have good hair, I'm light-skinned, or I look like this. It, it, it comes with the territory.
you know, people are afraid to admit that there's just foul black people out there. There's people, there's black people who are just jerks and assholes. And unfortunately, some of them may have money, some of them may have degrees. Simple as that. So, sorry I had to add that part in. But if you touch on all that, um, and you spread that word, you know, I think people can actually get somewhere. And people can find, you know, some benefit, some silver lining that they can take into their, take to their own personal lives. Y'all be easy. God bless.